Hello and good evening. This is Ruth Pozuelo from Curval.com and uh, today I'm going to talk about uh, or, or do a beginner's guide to PowerBI.com. I normally don't publish videos on a Thursday, but uh, I was doing this video for somebody else. So I thought why not publish in the YouTube channel and have everybody have access to it. And the intention of this video is a guide for normal users. That means that people that are not analysts, that they are not working in Power BI. So that might not be exactly you. But if you are a user in Power BI, this is the perfect video for you. So let's get started. Okay, so this is how Power BI looks like. As you can see, it has a few menus here to my left. And then here it has a picture of myself as a long logged in. And then there are also some icons in here. Let's go through that first. So when somebody publishes a Power BI report into PowerBI.com, that means into the service, what happens is that a data set is created, a report is created, and a dashboard is created. Okay, And that happens automatically. So you will find the same report as a data set, as a report, and as a dashboard. There is another section here called my workspace and as a normal user, that's nothing you need to worry about. That workspace are basically groups that your Power BI admin will create in order to be able to give access to certain reports to certain people. So you will have a sales workspace that only your salespeople will be in and be able to see those reports, for example. Then you have a search button in case you have a lot of reports and you want to search uh, instead of um, scrolling. And then you will be able to create some favorites. Up here, you have some um, administration buttons and download program buttons and that kind of stuff. I'm going to show you in a second. So. Here you have your reports and here you have other admin things that you probably won't use that often. So let's jump into Power BI now and see how it looks like live. Okay, so I've just logged in into Power BI and the first thing I see is an AdWords dashboard. If we click on here, you will have to do that because it's always hidden. If you click on here, that's where you will see, you remember, data sets, reports, and dashboards. Now, here you can see all the reports and dashboards that I have here. If I just want to see one, I just, as I said before, search. So as you can see, AdWords Kerbal is, has been selected and is this what we are seeing here. So where is all these things? Dataset is perhaps the, the, the part where you administrate the report. And if you click on it, you will see a blank canvas and then you will see like a copy of powerbi.com. And in here you can actually create reports that can be published to the reports um, tab. So you can cre create reports in Power BI Desktop and you can create reports in here. I don't think that a lot of people do it, but if you would like to do some ad hoc analysis yourself, you can do that here. If you click on these three dots in there, I'm not sure, I am an administrator, perhaps you have less choices in here, but I'm able to rename, remove, to schedule refresh, to refresh the data set now, analyzing Excel or Quick Insights. So Quick Insights is uh, like Power BI, artificial intelligence, or how would we call it, analyst. Um, they, they will take your data and try to, to give you some insights out of it. I will show you how it works. Analyzing Excel, you can just download the data to Excel. And schedule refresh, I recommend that if you want to schedule refresh, you talk to your Power BI administrator. 
not because it's difficult, but you know, the language might be a bit complex. So this is how you want to connect. You have to authenticate yourself. And here is where you would schedule the refresh daily or monthly or yeah, daily, weekly, that's what's available. And uh, you could add other hours to refresh. Q&A and Cortana and have feature questions. That is another video for another time, but I recommend you just talk to your Power BI administration, administrator for these. Um, so not a lot to do for you in the data set section. Things start to get interesting when you go into the report section, because here, let's do it like that, because here is where you can actually play with your reports. So, so here is what the data analyst has been designed for you. And then you can start, you know, looking into the data and understanding what all those numbers are. And here you have all the different tabs for this report. So this is exactly the same access. Now there is th that you have in Power BI Desktop, but there is a difference. Because if you go here to filters, if they haven't um, published any filters, you won't be able to, to see them. So this is not made for creating reports. It's only made for you playing with the data. Okay. And then the last part is dashboards. This is, think of it like a KPI follow up important things kind of dashboard. So here you will have, for example, in here I have the cost of the ads is an important metric. I have, uh, what is the cost per click? How many people abandoned my funnels? Uh, the, m how many times it was clicked? Did I make any money? And then you could send alerts to these. If you want to start alerts, you have to do it on tiles that are on dashboards. So only here. So let's say that we want to sort an alert, set an alert on that. We will go in there, we click on the bell, and this you can do yourself. And then I say when it's above 1000, at least once a day, send me an email. So, and this is where the notifications will show up, but also you will get an email when that happens. As you can see, there were a lot of other things to do here. You can maximize the tile in case it's like uh, a map that might be too small. Here's where you can see the quick insights. Let's click on that. And as you can see, Power BI creates graphs. It just goes through the data and say, okay, is there any correlation between impressions and cost? And this is, it is a, co a correlation. It gives me the cost per year week. So I don't have to go and look for it. Uh, cost and clicks, if there is any correlation. And then cost by week number. Oh, so, so you can see, sometimes they give you good things. Sometimes it's not that good information. but. It, play with it and see what it does and see if it's helpful to you. Now in dashboards, you have the possibility to see how your users or how yourself will see this in your mobile. And you can actually, I'm not sure if you can do these if you are, if you are not an admin. So you, Perhaps you just see how it looks, but you cannot modify. I can, because I am an admin, I can just change it. It's very possible that you cannot do that, but just you can play with it anyhow and see how it will look on your mobile. So if I open my mobile, this is what I will see. And then I can say, okay, put that there or just make this smaller. And those two should be together somewhere like that. And then we go back to web. And as you see, nothing changes in here. So there's two separate views for that. So where else? We have a full screen there. 
the notifications. Here are some settings. You will not need that at all. Here are the downloads. Uh, so all the uh, different programs that you can download for free. Here you can ask questions to the Power BI community or you can get uh, get started uh, uh, tutorial from Microsoft. And here you can just give feedback to the Power BI team directly. So you can submit an idea or an issue. Say, OK, I would like these added to the service or I have a problem with this. So ju just to, to wrap up and summarize what we said, when you logged in, you will see data sets, reports, and dashboards. Okay, that's, that's your main thing to play with. Dashboards is what you see here is the KPI follow up important things dashboard. If your designer has built that way. Here in the reports, you have the actual Power BI report. Now, if you want, you could say, okay, I want these also to be added to that dashboard and you will pin it in there and it will show up. It will show up in here, you see? And another thing, if you say, okay, the cost of my ads is 491, I can click on it and it will take me to the report where that tile is located on. And then I can then start doing some other analysis. Or is it for a Google search or just for the content network or whatever it could be? Okay, so dashboards mainly for KPIs. Looks like that. Reports is the full blown reports where you can see all the content and filter everything. And data sets is nothing to worry about. If you need something from here, I recommend you contact your Power BI administrator. Uh, one last thing, actually, you have the possibility to subscribe. So when somebody updates the data, you can say, okay, send me an email on that. And um, you will receive one email a day, which is nice. Thank you for that. And then you can say, okay, which report? So now we are on the track report. I would like to have that email to me uh, once the data has been updated once a day. Okay. And then you can, of course, add more pages. There is no old pages for I can see this is quite new feature. So perhaps it's also in beta. I'm not sure. So ch check it out. It should work well. Mm, that's all. Here you can refresh the data source if the refresh has been uh, uh, set up. So contact your Power BI administrator if you have issues with that. And uh, that's all. So hopefully this video will help you navigate through Power BI service and uh, as a user and be able to, to, to find the information that you're looking for properly. Okay, so this is all for today. Uh, if you like the video, let me know by liking it. If you have any comments, questions, suggestions, let me know in the comment box or any of the social channels listed below and uh, share and subscribe. I publish Power BI videos um, every week. Have a great evening. Bye.